Okay, continuing on, Chapter 6, Section 3, Elimination Using Addition and Subtraction. Go ahead and solve these two systems of equations using elimination by addition or subtraction. Press play when you're ready. Okay, so when we're doing elimination and we're doing it by addition or subtraction, what you want to look for is you want to look for variables in both equations that either have exactly the same or exactly the opposite coefficient. And what I mean by that is right here, see what the x is? We have a minus 3 and a 3. That one we can take care of. Here, see how we have a 2 and a 2 for the y's? We can take care of that as well. Now, when you have opposites, a negative 3 and a positive 3, what we're going to use for elimination for that is addition. When we have exactly the same, same sign and everything, we're going to use subtraction. Now, when we do this, negative 3x's plus 3x's, no x's, cancels out. 4y's plus 3y's, 7y's. 21 plus 14, 35. Divide both sides by 7, we get y equals 5. Now that I know what y is, just like in the last section, I'm going to substitute this value in for y, and I can do it in either equation. It truly doesn't matter. I'll choose this one since there's no negatives. Now, we've got 3x's plus 3y's, and we know that y is equal to 5, equals 14. Notice I put the y in parentheses there. 3 times 5 is 15. Now, I'm going to subtract 15 on both sides. It cancels on the left. On the right, 14 minus 15 is going to be negative 1. And now I divide both sides by this coefficient. On this side, I have x. On the other side, I have negative 1 divided by 3, negative 1 third. So now I put the two together. My x is negative 1 third. My y value is positive 5. On this side, we're using subtraction because I have the same exact signs here. Three x's minus an x. If there's no number there, that's one x. Three x's minus an x, that's going to be two x's. Two y's minus two y's, they cancel out, no y's. Eight minus two is six. Now I divide both sides by two, I end up with x equals three. Now that I know x equals three, I can substitute this into either equation. I'll choose the bottom one here. So we have x, which is 3, plus 2y equals 2. I subtract 3 on both sides. I end up with 2y equals negative 1. Divide both sides by 2. y equals negative 1 half. So now my solution set for this would be x equals 3, y equals negative 1 half. Now, one thing that I want you to be aware of is the following. Suppose I had a system of equations that looked something like this. Let's say 3x plus 2y equals 8. Yes, I know I chose the same one. Now for the second one, suppose I had this. Negative x plus 2y equals negative 3. Now, Again, I'm going to subtract because the y's have the same coefficient, exactly the same, same sign and everything. I'll put a little bar there so we don't get confused. Now, remember, when you're subtracting a negative, that's the same thing as adding. So instead of 3x minus x, this is actually 3x plus x. So here we would have 4x's, 2y minus 2y, that would be no y's, cancels out. Here, 8 minus negative 3 minus a negative is the same thing as plus. So this would be 8 plus 3, which would be 11. And then to finish it up, we would divide both sides by 4, and we would get x equals 11 fourths. What I want you to take away from this is subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding. So make sure you keep that in your mind while you're doing these problems. Definitely be cognizant of that.